Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ulogic and welcome back to yet another video. So today what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be taking a look at the Dracaena family just because I feel like there's a lot to talk about when it comes to this family. So we're going to go ahead and dive into that right now. So let's go ahead and give some examples of the Dracaena. What does the Dracaena look like? The truth is the Dracaena takes a lot of different forms and one of them that I have here today, this Dracaena right here is known as the Dracaena marginata and this one in particular actually isn't mine. It actually belongs to my mother but I stole it from her and I said you know what I want to talk about Dracaena so let's go ahead and use it in the video and one of the things that I really love about the Dracaena marginata on top of the fact that it's just a beautiful plant to look at is that when you really take a deep dive into the leaves this one in particular has a different set of colors within the leaves so you're gonna have some red you're gonna have some white and then you're gonna have the typical green that comes with house plants it's definitely one of those things that makes this plant super distinct from others now another member of the dracaena family is going to be the dracaena sandinaria which we have right here this dracaena in particular is commonly referred to as a lucky bamboo but the truth is this actually isn't a bamboo is just more like a common name that we've given it. Me personally, I don't mind calling it the Lucky Bamboo just because that's what everyone knows it as, but it is important to know that this is not a bamboo. This is actually a member of the Dracaena family. Although I can't see where the similarities to bamboo come from, it is not in the same family. The Dracaena is its own beast entirely and to be honest, I am really loving this plant. It's super resilient in particular. And most of the time you can buy them really cheap. You get them from 99 cent stores for a dollar. They have them uh, cultivating and water. And while I really want to geek out on this plant right now, like believe me, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about breaking off script. I have a whole separate video planned for the Dracaena Sandinaria or the Lucky Bamboo coming in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and save the geeking for that video. But we're going to go ahead and talk about the next example of the Dracaena. Now the next member of the Dracaena family, this one excites me because I know I'm going to get you guys mad. But it's a new discovery on my part and on the part of many people in the plant community. But the next example of a Dracaena is going to be the snake plant. And I know you may be looking at me like, what? No, it's part of the Sansevieria. The truth is, ever since 2017, based on my research, scientists have actually defined this as a member of the Dracaena family. So this is no longer the Sansevieria cylindrica. This is now the Dracaena angolensis. And this one in particular is not the only snake plant that is a member of the Dracaena family. Any snake plant that you can think of it is a Dracaena and that is where we start diving into what is so crazy about the Dracaena family. It is so diverse and these three that I've listed here are just like a tiny little part of the entire family. I'm going to go ahead and put some pictures up right now of some other examples of Dracaenas and members of the Dracaena family but man I was so thrilled to discover this and it makes me appreciate Dracaena so much more as this really diverse community of plants. And to be honest, I want to continue doing my research on them so I can know everything there is to know about them. But all of that geeking out aside, let's go ahead and talk about some care tips when it comes to the Dracaena plant. When it comes to lighting, most Dracaenas in the Dracaena family are going to tolerate, and I, I emphasize that, tolerate low light, but they're going to thrive and really do their best when they are in medium to bright indirect light situations but you're going to want to make sure that you're avoiding the direct light because that will lead to a lot of burning and crisping of the leaves that you do not want on your plant so you want to keep it in the medium to bright indirect light spectrum if you want to see it do good and then when it comes to watering what i find is that this plant is really going to want for the top soil to dry out in between watering so you're gonna want to make sure that you're doing your finger tests like I always advocate and when the top two to three inches of your soil are dry to the touch then you know it is time to water it now another caveat that I will speak about when it comes to watering this plant is that this plant is going to prefer filtered water over tap water because a lot of the times tap water contains contaminants and minerals which your Dracaena is actually sensitive to Think of it as if it is allergic to these minerals. You're going to want to avoid it getting into the soil. And so for that reason, you're going to want to be using distilled or filtered water for your Dracaena when you are watering it. If you do use tap water, what you can begin to expect is that eventually the Dracaena will show signs of crisping in the tips of the leaves. And this is generally not something that we want to cause. But when it comes to Dracaenas, speaking of the crisping of the tips of the leaves, 
Dracaenas, as they get older, they will begin to crisp just a little bit in the tips. It shouldn't be drastic and it shouldn't be anything that you are noticing is really making the plant look ugly. If you're taking care of it, there's nothing to worry about, trust me. In fact, I kind of like it. It gives it a bit of a more vintage, rugged, like mature look like you know it's been around the block a few times and it knows what's up but with all of that being said i really hope that you enjoyed the video guys if you did make sure that you leave a thumbs up down below and until next time peace that's right daddy changed the world he did what daddy changed the world daddy changed the world <laughs>